Hey guys, today we want to talk about um, how to get all the components in a blueprint. What I will do is uh, we will just create a new blueprint, call it test, <coughs> and in here I have some uh, meshes here. I will just add them, and now um, I would like to get all of them and uh, set some settings. And I do not want to drag and drop them in here and then connect all these dots to, let's say, for example, the set physics. Um, simulate physics nodes and stuff like that. Uh, this shall be automated, okay? So that's really interesting here. <clears throat> you can just get a, a scene root and just as a test get num uh, the children. So all these children here just get a number um, to um, just count how many you have in the scene. So you just connect this here, compile and then press play and we will see nothing because the blueprint is not in the scene. So we drag and drop it in the scene. We press play the 57 um, components. So that's uh, working. Um, the reason why I'm uh, telling you this is it was not working for me. And the reason is that I had my um, components set to simulate physics. So, and now when you press play, you get suddenly zero. So for some reason, um, Unreal is not able to find the uh, components anymore the um, workaround I found is you do not do this in event begin play you do it in the construction script <coughs> and then we should see yeah here it works right so what I do <coughs> sorry what I usually do here is uh, the following workaround in case you want to have um, the physics activated because what I want is when I play, this should not uh, explode immediately, okay? It should explode later. So what I do, I get um, the children, let me see, uh, children components. And this um, array here, I promote to a variable. And yeah, it's stored in the variable. Let's call it uh, comms or something. Okay, and then I can use this variable in here, get, and then I loop over it. And then um, let's just do uh, get name, get object name, and then a print just for testing if it works, and then loop, and then compile, and then we play, and then we see all these names. So this works. This is a, a nice workaround which I found uh, works, yeah. And <clears throat> something else in here you see when you hover in here um, the variable type. No, in here where is it? Yeah, it's a scene component object reference. But if you drag and drop something in here, you see it's a mesh component object reference. So we cannot directly set uh, the physics activation here. If you try, you will not find anything. So. What you have to do is you drag and drop it here and you uh, type cast to mesh component. And then zack, zack, uh, you can set physics, for example, off at the beginning. And then we do the, oops, we do the same thing again uh, after a little delay. Let's say one uh, second. But this time we activate the physics. So, and now yeah the barrel does not go off and then after one second it does so this is a really interesting thing i'm not sure exactly why the physics created these problems but uh, remember if you do not use physics you can do everything in the event graph and um, thanks for sed or s ed or something um it's a really nice a guy from the discord from the unreal discord and he made <coughs> me aware of that uh, Thanks and uh, have a nice day.